Well, I'm back at that uh, burned up house here. I'm all alone. Um, honestly, we got a, a new bylaw coming uh, tonight where we're not going to be able to go and explore at all or we'll get a fine and go to jail. So that's not very fun. We don't want to do that. So you know what? I'm going to go and hit this place up for you guys. I'm going to go truck through this snow. I'm going to go get snow in my boots for you guys. And we're going to go back and check this place out. Because I don't know when we're going to be able to start getting other stuff out again with, with what's going on. Um, but we are working on a lot of animation. We're working on our Dark World series as well. Now, you know, my curiosity arise a lot more with this place after. Um, we found out that there was a bunch of churches, actually, a whole bunch of churches around here that got burned. So, I mean, it would be kind of interesting to go and maybe get some footage of these churches if I can go and find them. I did see one uh, the other day, or last week, and it was just so random. It was in the corner of my eye. I said, oh my God, look at that. And Jen saw it too. So I don't know if this is anything to do with the vandals. But there is that possibility, of course. Right? I, I, I'd, I'd really like to know what happened here. I mean, this is crazy. Look at this. Insane man. Yeah, boy. Now, as far as haunted, I don't personally feel anything here, which is uh, not a bad thing. So, if you guys see anything or hear anything that I miss, let me know. I mean, I'm only so sensitive to the spirit world. I, I used to be a lot more. Um... I used to be a little bit more in tune with it all and uh, I guess study it all and practice things and I'll have to get into that another time. But uh, basically something started following me and I kind of started drifting away from it. It's only been the past little while that I've been getting back all into this stuff. You know what? Being in here is kind of freaking depressing. I ain't gonna lie. It's getting kind of depressing in here. Um, it feels like... It feels like uh, there was... A lot of good memories and good energy in here. And it's all just washed away. It's just gone. Just gone. There's nothing left. This is, this is all that's left. Really. It's... It's sad. That's not okay. Let's take a look at this surrounding area. What's even around here? So we got uh, what? Some water in the back. Oh, they had a nice little pond there. Hell yeah! Inside this thing. If you guys remember the other video um, where I came here with King, yeah, you see there's not really a whole lot going on inside here. <laughs> Just a random little lonely shed. Go 
glass broken out. Oh, yeah. This place has taken its beating, hasn't it? Man. I don't know why, but coming back here again, it feels like this place is, uh, I don't know, I get a sadder energy off it than before. But like I said, it doesn't feel haunted to me. But I could be wrong. Could be very well damn wrong. I mean, just from you guys watching this and seeing the place, what do you guys feel off of it? Go melted. That is Jeebus, man. It's warped up there, you know. My God. All right, we're gonna stick our nose in over here really quick, and then I think we're gonna bounce, people. Sometimes it's pretty intense, actually. All right. Okay. Oh, I even got a little wheelbarrow right there. <laughs> Rusted up old one. Whoa! I almost took a fall there. <laughs> That was pretty crazy. This is uh, quite an interesting spot. Feeling like neighbors are watching me right now. <laughs> I think they are. That's okay. I, I'm gonna get on out, guys. But yeah, unfortunately, we just haven't been able to do a whole lot of exploring because of all the craziness going on. Uh, Jen hurt herself too. We haven't been able to go to these old places. Uh, we have a good reason for that. We'll have to have a video come out called The Dangers of Urban Exploring. But yeah, here's this sad little lonely burned up place. Don't know if it was done by vandals or not, but all right guys, keep it spooky. There's the uh, Black Mold House, which I won't be going back to visit. It's, uh, it was after me and King visited that house that me and Jeno actually ended up getting a, a threat put onto our car. So we don't know if it's from this house or any other one that we visited. So this is why we won't be going back to uh, old places that we've already been to. I know I said I'd love to come back and do a nighttime investigation, but honestly, I remember afterwards, my lungs felt so terrible from all that black mold in there. But 
But yeah, fortunately won't be going back there again. Remember, uh, if you guys want to see the exploration of the barn, head on over to Sinister King. Yeah, that's that's the channel that uh, King has for his own uh, little explorations and some gaming stuff. Yeah, that's the place. That's the place. Yes! There's the uh, Twisted Ankle House. Yeah! Well, bye-bye, 666s. farmhouse uh, you guys probably remember this one can't go back there what does that say on it no trespassing Woo! that sucks you know it's sort of funny that uh, a lot of these abandoned places that we've gone to visit now we're starting to get uh, no trespassing signs on them so uh, I think we lucked out by exploring them when we did you know what I mean because uh, there would be no way that we'd be able to now unless we got permission to do it. But, uh, wow, kind of dodged quite a few bullets there, I think. That place. This place here, I've been wanting to go and freaking explore it so bad. But we can't. As you can see, no trespassing sign. But we actually have word from somebody um, who knows who used to live in that house. And there's a really dark story attached to it, guys. Um, I'll explain it right here after we pass by this other kind of creepy little house that we weren't able to get inside, unfortunately. Yeah, there's a whole string of them along this road. See that one? Look what it's next to. <laughs> Imagine going to work and having to come out and see that thing every day. Hey. But uh, the history to that one house there, at least something that we found out, it's really messed up. But a uh, previous owner of that place actually had taken a, a girl from a bar, a young young girl. Um, and I, I don't know exactly how long the time span was. I don't know if it was four days, four weeks, four months. Regardless, four hours, whatever. Too long. Four minutes, too long. Um, kept her in a closet. Hardly feed her, beat her, burned her with cigarettes. Yeah, it's, it's disgusting. Um, so I, I can, you know, driving by the house, I get a horrible energy off of it. But uh, unfortunately, as you guys can see, that it's not gonna happen. We're not gonna be able to go explore that one. Um, but yeah, this might be the last little exploration video for a little while, just due to the stupid bylaw that's gonna be coming by. But I guess we gotta do what we gotta do, I suppose. All right, peeps, let's keep it going and let's keep it spooky.